All right. In order to learn about gravit and making shapes, we're going to fill out this shapes worksheet. You can find this in Schoology in our current unit under one dot shape worksheet. It's the first classwork in this unit. I'm going to look at this classwork assignment. There are some directions and below there is a JPEG. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and download this image. Now in Gravit Designer, we're going to go to Open from Computer. And we're going to choose to open the worksheet that we just downloaded. Might take a moment for it to load, but soon you'll see the worksheet pop up. This is Gravit. I'm going to introduce you a little bit to the layout of Gravit. On the left hand side, you'll see that we have our layers. And this image that you see listed under layers is actually the worksheet that we just opened. I still have the effect to turn it on and off using this eyeball icon, and I can still lock the worksheet. I'm going to choose to lock it now so that as I'm working, I don't accidentally slide it around, remove it. Up along the top, running horizontally, are our tools. And along the right are the preferences. They're going to change depending on what I have selected, and we'll look at those as we get going. So let's take a look at shapes. This is the first tool we're going to use in Gravit. There are all different shapes to choose from. I'm going to start by making a rectangle, simply clicking and dragging. Next, I'm going to work on making a square. I could spend time to try to click and drag and create a perfect square, but there is a trick in Gravit. Instead, I can simply hold shift on my keyboard and regardless of how big or how small, it's going to stay as a perfect square. The next shape, this diamond shape, I can just take the square, control or command C to copy it, Control or Command V to paste it and slide it over. Now I can move this little white circle and boom, I have a diamond. I'm going to copy this diamond again. And in order to get this triangle, I'm going to convert this to paths, convert to paths. Now the shape is made up of paths with anchor points. In order to select those anchor points, I'm going to go to su the sub select tool, click on one of the anchor points and delete it. I can't move the triangle into place using the sub select tool. Sub select only selects anchor points. So I'm going to need to switch back to the pointer tool and now I can put it into place. Let's try ellipse. It can be difficult to make a perfect circle, but again, just like with the square, if I hold down shift, Gravit locks the dimensions into place and I end up with a perfect circle. Let's copy it and paste it and see if we can use the same technique we used with the diamond and the triangle to make a half circle. I'm first gonna convert it to paths, change from the pointer to the sub select tool, select an anchor point and delete. Didn't quite work and I'm going to show you why and I'm going to show you how to get this to work. So the path between the top and the bottom anchor point is curved and our goal is to have it be straight. If I select the anchor point with the sub select tool, I get what are called handlebars sticking out from either side. I can move and adjust these handlebars, which adjust the paths. Imagine a handlebar on a bike does the same thing. It adjusts the front wheel. I can push this handlebar into the anchor point to adjust the shape. Same thing with the one on the bottom. And now I can move these anchor points, or these handlebars rather, to get that half circle. 
I'm going to switch back to the pointer and drag it on top. Now this half circle is a little more simple. I'm going to copy and paste and rotate. Let's take a look at the stars. I have the star as an option. If I click and drag, I get your sort of traditional five point star. Let's do it again, except this time, let's look at our preferences menu. If I have the star selected, you'll see that there's a blue bounding box around it. When it's not selected or I click off of the star, you'll see that my preferences are different. If I click on the star and select it, my preferences are specific to the shape. I have points as an option. I can increase the number of points. Let's copy this star and try it again over here to create this shape. I can adjust the size of the points, the depth, how shallow or deep they are. And I can get something similar to this shape. Let's take a look at our polygon tool. Again, it's going to default to a sort of standard polygon. I can copy and paste it and adjust the number of points, or in this case, sides that the polygon has, and rotate. I copied it. I'm going to adjust the number of points. And here's my pentagon. Let's take a look at the rec rectangle tool again, except for this time, we want a rounded rectangle. Look at the corners of this rectangle and how rounded they are. Here's my rectangle, and I can adjust the corners. I'll copy and paste. I'll adjust the corners again. I can make a new rectangle that's longer and completely adjust the corners to make them round. So far, all the shapes that we have created are gray. If I select a shape and I know it's selected because it has a blue line around it or a blue bounding box around it, I can change what's called the fill. The fill is the color inside of the shape. So I can click on the fill and change the color. I can even use the color picker up here to determine the color I want to use. I can also select more than one shape. So maybe I want to select this entire row and change the color at once. I can click and drag to create a bounding box around all four shapes. All four are selected. The bounding box is going around all four of them. And here, I can change the color of all four at one time. Go ahead and take some time to change the shape, the, um, create the shapes and change the color of your shapes. Save your work by going to File, Save. You have a choice to save the file to your machine or your desktop or Chromebook, or you can save to the Gravit Cloud. If you're gonna be uploading this work, which is required for this classwork, I would suggest you save to a file so that then you can upload that file. And we will label it first name underscore shape worksheet. Once you've finished, go ahead and upload it to Schoology and I'll see you to continue creating. Thanks so much.